The Nigerian Army is set to begin Operation Positive Identification Exercise, by which Nigerians are required to move about with the means of identification. Chief of Army Staff Lieutenant General Tukur Buratai affirmed this while addressing members of the House Committee on Thursday. The lawmakers expressed reservations about the Operation Positive Identification, but Buratai told the lawmakers that Buhari and the Minister of Defense Bashir Magashi are in support of the operation. He said the operation first launched in the Northeast in September and would be conducted nationwide to intercept Boko Haram insurgents who had relocated from their enclaves to other parts of the country. Boratei, represented by the head of Civil Military Affairs Army Headquarters Major General Usman, noted that the exercise would not involve movement of troops or their presence in communities. Rather, he emphasized it is a special operation fused into ongoing operations. He repeated that the operation did not involve mounting of checkpoints or military incursions into communities. It it is an intelligence-based operation to intercept insurgents and other criminal elements relocating from the army's theaters of operations to other parts of the country. Now, human, human rights lawyer Femi Falono has sued the Nigerian army, its chief of army staff, and the attorney, attorney general of the federation, praying for an order stopping the planned operation positive identification by the army. The suit was filed before the Federal High Court in Lagos on October the 25th. According to Falono, the planned nationwide operation scheduled for November the 1st to December 23rd, 2019, by which Nigerian citizens would be required to move about with means of identification, was unconstitutional, illegal, and void. He argued that the operation will violate the rights of the citizens and, to, and their liberty as encapsulated in Section 35, respectively, of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended, and Article 6 of the African Charter on Human and People's Rights Acts and Laws of the Federation of Nigeria, 2004. The operation required Nigerian citizens to move about to legitimate means of identification, such as the National Identification Card, Voters Registration Card, Driver's License and Passport, or other valid official identification. And now human rights lawyer Femi Falono joins us live via phone to provide a legal perspective on this development. Yeah, uh, the the proposed uh, identification parade of Nigerians mm -hmm. is the height of illegality. As far as the Constitution is concerned, Section 217 specifically, the duty of the military, the duty of the armed forces, is to defend the country from external aggression or rather defend the territorial integrity of the country. Why the police, Nigeria police force, under section 215 of the constitution, is solely empowered Am I asking him? to maintain the internal security of the country. Therefore, the Nigerian army has no powers whatsoever to subject civilians or subject Nigerians and foreigners mm -hmm. to any illegal search on the street. Okay. What is more, Nigerians are asked to identify themselves mm -hmm. with national identity cards, driving licenses, international passports, and voters' uh, uh, cards. Majority of Nigerians do not have any of these documents. Sure. You can be very sure such people are going to be humiliated and dehumanized. And this is why this proposed parade cannot be tolerated in any decent society. Mm -hmm. We had military rule in Nigeria for 30 years. For like 30 years. On no occasion were Nigeria subjected to such degrading treatment by armed soldiers. In this particular instance, I've read the defense, sham defense, the Wobu defense put up by the chief of army staff. In fact, he has confirmed the illegality of the action by not showing the public or the National Assembly the directive of the president. Because as far as section 217 of the Constitution is concerned, it is only the president as the commander-in-chief of the armed forces 
that can deploy soldiers or the armed forces in any part of the country. No service chief has the power to wake up one day and say the society should be militarized. There are not less than five cases decided by the Federal High Court, the Court of Appeal and the Supreme Court, where the point has been made abundantly clear that armed soldiers or armed, the armed forces should not interfere with civil activities in the country and that the police should be empowered, the police should be equipped no. to handle internet says... security in our country. And that is the position of the law today. The constitutional role of the army. The army has no power whatsoever to expose or to go to town and subject anybody to a search. That is the duty of the police. All right, many thanks, uh, Falano, there for joining us uh, live and making uh, these uh, submissions there. Thank you very much.